Okay. Hello, everyone. I hope everything uh, everything is uh, working well. Everyone here is me. Welcome to today's lesson. Um, my name is Lukáš Podpira. I'm a seven dan player from Czech Republic, and I'm one of the teachers in Nordic Go Dojo. Um, this is an opening lesson of uh, Nordic Go Dojo June season. So uh, today we will talk about some very fam famous sumego, and I hope it uh, you will enjoy the lesson and get something new. To know about our uh, about uh, about go, go problems and so on. So uh, I hope the sound is working well. In case there would be some there would be some problem, or if you have any questions, just leave me a message in the chat, please. So uh, I think that's it for the for the opening, and we will start solving some uh, famous problems, and we will start with something which is. Uh, Quite easy, I think. Especially, especially uh, double-digit Q players should pay attention on these problems. Probably stronger players should be already very familiar with that. So, if there is, uh, uh, so uh, actually the task in the in all of these four problems, which look very same, right? Is uh, if uh, the question is if White can make any of these four groups alive. Basically, we have this uh, L shape in all four corners, and uh, he, he, uh, in the top left corner, white has only the L shape. In top right corner, white has uh, one hane on the first line, and in the bottom right corner, there is a uh, hane on the other side. And uh, in the in the bottom left corner, white has hane on the on both sides. So I would like to ask, especially our double-digit Q viewers, if White can make any of these groups alive. So what do you think? Because this is a very usual shape. So I guess uh, all of you have already got such a shape in your games. So any opinion? From our double digit Q viewers. So, um, so far I'm not getting any ideas yet. So, how about uh, single digit Q players? What do you think? Can White make any of these groups alive? So, so don't be shy. Tell me, tell me, tell me something. What do you think about these uh, about these groups? Are they possible to to make them alive? Yeah, it really seems like there are only done players because I guess uh, I guess uh, done players should be definitely familiar with all of this stuff, right? So. Great, single digit Q player showed up. So, what do you think? Can White make any of these groups alive? You would say no. So, so let's take a look. Let's take a look if uh, if the to if the top left corner group can be made alive. Probably, if we just try to play some vital point inside, like for example this move, Black can kill very easily like this. We play vital point and then we hane from the outside and kill like this. Right? This is very simple. I guess if white plays this this uh, vital point, that black will just kill like this again, basically same shape. And if white tries to make the base bigger, so we can try from this direction, black will just kill like this, right? And if white goes down, black will black will kill like this. So this is basically basically shows that actually the L shape itself is definitely is definitely dead. Even if white, even if it's white's turn. So, and actually, I have to say, I have even seen some, uh, 
very tragedy stories that even that there was black turn black tried to kill played inside and made white made life so this is actually probably the worst the worst uh, stuff what can happen so even if uh, if it's white turn top left shape definitely cannot be cannot be made alive so and uh, we can try if the honey on the first line can help us somehow to to improve the solution but on the right side one honey it doesn't seem like that right like if white just uh, makes the makes the base bigger it probably doesn't help that much it's probably quite same in the in the bottom uh, right corner and in the bottom left corner is there any improvement it doesn't seem so right this is very easily dead this is dead once again right and if we try one of the well, I'm sorry. If we try one of the vital points, it's also not possible, right? Probably there is nothing what could work locally. So that's it. So I think uh, that's it about this diagram. I think every one of you who is a uh, who is a uh, who is uh, viewing this stream or who will watch it in retrospect should remember that uh, all of the shapes in this diagram are dead itself so uh, whatever white does there is no possibility no possibility how to make it alive in theory there can be of course some possibility like if white for example connects here it can make some center under connection at the first line but this was very rare i think so in any case white is surely dead locally so i think this was just something quite easy for the start so let's take a look on the on the second diagram this is actually very similar shape but in this case if white if it would be if it would be white turn it would be already fairly easy to make it alive right like if white plays like this there is probably nothing black can do if black tries to kill like this white has clearly two eyes and uh, if uh, if uh, black tries to kill from the outside, white will always be remained with uh, four points inside. So that means uh, white white is alive too. Actually, this shell this shape is called L plus one. That's how we call it in English usually. And the one is actually basically this uh, this stone, which is actually an anadon here, which actually helps to make the group alive in case white is in case uh, it's a, it's white's turn. However, if we, if it black if it's black's turn, what will uh, how will black kill white in the top left corner? Uh, I would like to hear single digit Q players first for sure. How will black kill in the top left corner? Once again, I think uh, done players should be probably familiar with the top left corner, top right corner and bottom right corner. Those problems are not really hard for done players that I'm sure about, but bottom left corner is very tricky problem. Uh, actually, when there are two honeys on the first line, this one and this one, it already makes the makes the solution very different. So I would like. So actually, done players might already take a look at the at the bottom left corner. What's actually the if there is actually any solution there? If black can kill kill white. However, Q players, can you tell me how to kill white in top left corner? We just will with the, in the L plus one shape without any honey hi miko So either there are almost no Q players in this stream right now or they are shy. So please don't be shy, share your opinion. How to kill white in the top left corner.
I can also give you an advice. Actually, there is not only one solution there. There are actually many ways uh, which, which are working. However, some are easy, some are a bit more difficult, and some actually also require such a solid shape, which I have put here. So White will not try any under connections on the first line or anything like that. So I already, I finally hear an opinion. It, and let's try A18. So A18 is actually one of the more complicated moves, I would say, because if uh, if if White tries some normal move like this one, then probably Black can kill, right? But uh, if White if White tries this move, then if Black connects under, then we have a call, right? And the call is not enough, definitely. You can try to kill like this. So like this, you will kill with Band 4 in a corner, right? But is it really an ideal solution to kill with Band 4 in the corner? In this case, it's pro it probably doesn't matter because uh, Black's shape on the outside is super solid. But I don't think there will often be a situation when black will be so solid on the outside. So I would be actually very afraid that uh, white will get really a lot of liberties and there can be some cutting point on the outside. So that's why I don't really recommend to kill with pen for in the corner if possible. So there are definitely better solutions than this one. So actually in this case you can only follow the very basic proverbs like for example there is there is a death in honey right i guess most of you are familiar with the, familiar with that so how to follow that So D19 or B18. So let's start actually with B18. B18 is actually one of the moves which is working, definitely. It's not definitely not the best move, but probably the only thing white can do is to play Hane. And if black goes down, basically black creates Mi between uh, this under connection and taking away an eye at D19, right? So this is actually working. Once again, there is uh, one aspect which I don't like, is that white gets really a lot of liberties. So even though this solution is locally working well, I don't recommend to use it. So actually, D19 suggested suggested by you is a, by you is a better solution because if white just blocks and black plays another honey, black can just kill like this and like this white will definitely not have that many liberties as before. And actually, by the honey. By the Hane, we will already get to the same shape as in this diagram, right? Basically, the shape, basically the base will be on the same on the same level, the same size. So this, so that's why I that's, that's why I would recommend to start from this Hane definitely. If both, if both from outside and inside, will, yeah. Right, this is actually correct. Normally we should start from the outside. If we play inside, it often works too, but mm, there can be a danger of big number of liberties or white will, white will just get a big enough uh, base to live in Seki or whatever. So that's why I always recommend to start from the outside. Actually, if you start from this Hane, which, uh, which looks maybe a bit weird, black can actually kill too. But there is a uh, only thing white can do once again, black will just go down. White will take and black will kill like this. This is actually also possible. So there are really many different solutions solutions how to how to kill this shape locally. Right. If you miss red, you don't lose that much when starting from outside. That's true. That's also very true. But I would definitely recommend not to miss red in this shape. I think uh, every single digit Q player and stronger should be definitely very familiar with this. Uh, so actually let's move to those right side problems we already have uh, Hane here and Hane here so actually not all the solutions which we have seen in top left corner would work but still there are there is surely at least one solution working always so how to kill the top right corner
Top right corner is actually maybe slightly more difficult than top uh, than bottom right corner, but doesn't matter how to kill top right corner. So T16. T16 is actually very correct because then you will just kill like this, right? And basically we need to make sure that this P1900 will not make any difference compared to the top left corner, right? And this is exactly the solution I was looking for because if you just throw in like this and start from the other side, white actually can make life like this. And if black tries to kill like this, white can connect. And now suddenly this, this honey is in a good position because black cannot connect at R19. So then this actually would, would fail this solution, but this honey is working pretty well. This is this, the solution I would recommend to use in this corner. So that's it. And how about bottom right corner? Once again, we have a Hane at T5 and we need, we need to basically rule it out of the play. So it doesn't make any difference compared to the basic shape in top left corner. I guess the top right uh, making a bond and four can be better if white would have it. Yes, but it's not that easy actually. So start from the other side at Q, Q, Q1, yes, exactly. And if white blocks, now black can throw in, now it's the timing, and black can, now black can kill, right? Basically, black needs to make this exchange first, and then the Hane at uh, T5 doesn't make, doesn't make any difference. So, so these are those uh, quite basic problems, let's say. And now let's take a look at the, at the bottom left, left uh, problem, because uh, the solution there is actually not really clear there. The status of the group can be also very different from the other ones. So, done players, what can you see there? Well, of course, Q players, if you are familiar with this problem, go ahead and share your opinion. So, what do you guys see there? What's your opinion? Because this is not really a basic problem anymore. I will just show something something uh, at the start here. Uh, basically, we cannot use. We, it's hard to kill, indeed. And if you start with a two. If we start with a2, then white will white will connect like this, and the only thing black can probably do is to make seki this way, right? So it will be some kind of seki in center, but is the but that's uh, that's uh, the best what black can do with this move, right? And actually, just uh, if, if we take a look on those basic solutions which we have showed in the previous corners, then if black throws in like this, there is not much black can do anymore. Then this make it alive, right? And if we throw in from the other side, white will just lift like this, which we have reviewed already. And if we try like this, then the Hana at A5 come, comes to the play and white connects like this and white is alive once again. Black can A6 instead of F3. When do you mean A6? Like at this point white would just make life like this. And so we have already reviewed A2. A2 is actual A2 makes Seki. And there are A2, D1, A6. This would make it alive. Ah, no. I'm sorry. No. This would be a call. And if I just connect, then it can be some thousand year call like this right 
Yes, that seems so. I don't see any anything better there. Yes, so the so thousand year core looks like to work there. And however, if white would have any outside liberties, then of course white can uh, be alive like this, right? But white doesn't have any outside liberties here, so thousand year core is the is the possibility. However, there is was actually mentioned mentioned uh, a three move, and actually a three move is very tricky. I can tell you, actually in the past. In the past, I thought that actually this move can make some core inside, but actually it's not true. If if white only if white only connects like this and uh, eternal life variation, yes, exactly. A four and B two, right? And then we yeah, have B one, B one, like this, 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 and this. Right. This is the, the the eternal life variation which you which you probably suggest here. Yeah. So uh, yes. So this is this actually makes a double call. In some cases, of course, double call can be good for for black because basically you have uh, you have uh, you have uh, unlimited number of core threads. Right. Yes. This is a double call. It makes white alive, but black has uh, eternal number of core core threads. So this can be sometimes a good solution. So actually, a three can work sometimes, but uh, it just itself, just itself, uh, it's not the best solution. So a two is actually something which we can, which we can try. If white con, if white connects like this, then if then black can either make Seki in center like this, which I'm not sure how good on points it can be because uh, if white gets connections at a4 at d1 white can also reduce a lot of points on the outside so i'm not sure how good it is but and it seems like after this move if after this move white doesn't have any other answer than connection and then black can play here and it will be a thousand year core in case of, of no outside liberties right is that correct everyone sees something better because i don't Yes, so this is actually this should be the actual solution of this uh, of this problem. As we, as you could see, we actually got three different solutions. Which sometimes it's good to make thousand year core, sometimes it's good to make seki. There are even cases where it's when it's good to make double core, right? So so actually there are there is a really really a lot of a real lot of stuff which can happen so it's really good to remember this problem is not really easy and i think if we would for example enter enter biomi and we wouldn't and we wouldn't have we wouldn't know this problem from before it would be really hard to solve it perfectly that's i'm pretty sure about if i wouldn't be so familiar with this problem i'm not sure if i can solve it perfectly in 30 seconds so uh, this problem is actually really good to really good to memorize so i think that's it about this diagram right so we can move on we will move to slightly more difficult stuff however i think uh, players on a single digit q strength who are so who are very familiar with sumego should be already able to find the solutions of many of these double coin bliss to gain endless time to think it is yeah that's good <laughs> indeed <laughs> That's a good one. Anyway, so actually we have th four almost same groups in this diagram, and there is only a difference in the in the last connection, right? Because always there was this shape plus plus Hane, right? Which happens very often. But then we think about how to make the best solution in the corner, right? So we can try solid connection, we can try one hanging connection, second hanging connection, or going down. So someone can tell, can tell me which one is the best is there a way how how white could make life with any of these connections somehow q players first please The left down corner is the best. The Sagari, okay, and why? Why do you think so? Yes.
It leads to a core. That's correct, actually. Yes, that's correct. And that's correct. It leads to a core. And actually, the and the other ones are dead. Yes, that's also correct. And uh, so let's start with the easier ones. So how to kill the top left one? How would you kill it? This is actually once again a L shape plus one just on the other side, right? So how to kill the how to kill the top left corner? Should be very easy, I think. Anyone tells me the solution? E19, yes, E19 is the solution, because if white blocks, we just make once again that five shape in the corner, right? So this should be quite easy. How about the, how about the top left one, uh, top right one? How do we kill it directly? And I will add another stone there, that would make it more clear, I think. Top right corner, so S19, yes, S19 is the correct solution, and I will tell you why did I add another stone at M18, actually, I, at some point I almost forgot about this honey, and in case if black wouldn't have a solid shape on the outside at M18, then actually black would have to block, right, and white would have to, white, white would have an opportunity to make core, which is actually not a great core, because white needs to win it, two times, right? So, so the, it's a two-step core. However, if black has a shape, a solid shape on the outside, black can just kill directly this way, right? Because white has to connect, black will connect like this, white will connect, and black way plays Hana and connects to prevent Seki, right? So this is dead like this. So, uh, but this Hana can be slightly tricky, right? So this is actually, this is actually very, very important. So, how about the bottom right corner? And I will once again add another stone. So, let's start with T3 and next move is which one? S2. Uh, actually not, because if you play S2, I will just capture the stone. And basically white creates Mi between this move and this move, right? So I saw you probably meant S1, right? So S1 is correct. And uh, it then if white tries to make an eye black, just plays Sagari, right? And white is directly dead, so there is nothing uh, white can do. If white connects, black again plays just Sagari, white can play here, but black can uh, play this throw in, right? And thanks to S1, black, white is just dead. And what I why, why did I why did I uh, add M2 is because once again white can try this honey. If white tries this Hane and black blocks, there can be actually same core as in the top uh, top right corner. So that's why black needs to be solid on the outside and then actually black can try to kill directly, right? This should work pretty, pretty well. So that's why I add another stone at uh, M2. So this one is good to remember. And now we finally proceed to, to, to bottom left corner. And I, there was already mentioned that there is a core, but there are actually more ways how to, how to make core. This is actually my very favorite, favorite problem to give uh, to my students. No, not how to no, not how to find the core, but how many variations of core you can find there, which is actually really a lot of ways how to do it. Some are, some of the variations are not that good on points, but there is really a lot of possibilities how to make a core. So, can you give me an example which move we can start with to make a core?
So A3 and next. And B1. Yes, this is one of the one of the possibilities and white plays here and this makes a call, right? This is probably the most classic variation, I think, because black doesn't risk much points by losing the call, basically almost, almost none of the points. So this is actually probably the most basic one, I guess. Then uh, uh, B1, uh, yes, B1, this, we already said so. And then actually the other variation we can try C1, for example, then white will has to prevent uh, d2 by playing at b1 and we make a call like this right so this is also another possible variation starting from b1 is probably not good this doesn't feel good i think i just need to find the correct answer the correct answer is just this way and we can just make life this way so starting from B1 is not correct. And the last possibility how to start how to start is B2 actually. And then black can either choose this move on the or this move, right? It will always create a call. So it's actually another possibility, but this is not so good on points because black risks quite a lot. So this is not good. Uh, also, you can of course try to cut at this point, but this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense because you made already this exchange for this exchange so this would be pretty big minus so this i don't definitely i don't recommend to start with hane if you want to cut next after that the hane b1 is the b1 is the correct uh, correct solution and uh, that's it about this diagram i guess all of these problems happen really often in your games so i think it's really good to get really good to know them and uh, always to be able to find the solution fast so let's proceed to next diagram and now we finally come to something uh, a bit more difficult i think it's not really it's not really easy to find solutions on these problems anymore so actually the the questions are which descent on the first line can do something in the corner so because the uh, all of these variations appear after appear after what, some kind of uh, some kind of uh, uh, sun sun invasion, right? Then regarding regarding on end game, white will try either this connection or this connection, right? And, but there is not only a difference in end game; there is also a difference which moves from the outside are centers and which are not. And the, these uh, these uh, these sense can actually make a really big difference inside. Yes, all of, all of these all of these are quite tricky. So J plus group plus Hane two. What is J plus group? Can you tell me? I don't know all the let's say all the familiar expressions normally. However, that. As Antti has already said, this is definitely time for Dan players to shine too, I guess. How, however, uh, can anyone tell me some solution? I guess we can start with top left corner because in my opinion, top left corner is the, is the easiest one. So that can, can anyone tell me the solution in the top left corner? Can we do something there in the group? Just by the way, all of these groups you can make alive by playing 2-1. All of these can be, you, you can make alive like this. So I think we probably can play D18. Yes, D18 and B, B19, right? Because if my white makes the base bigger, black will just kill like this. And this is the very famous band 4 in the corner, right? Which in Japanese rules is dead, right? So 
This is the classic solution. And I would like to also show a wrong example. Please don't start with B, B19 directly, because there is actually a way how white can make life in a very small scale, but there is a possibility, because if you switch the order of moves, then white can actually play here. And black can only capture and white will capture like this. So white can play, white can make life in a very small scale, but it's a life, which is a very big difference compared to, compared to uh, that group, of course. So please throw in first and then play B, B19, right? So this should be, this should be the way how to do it. So can anyone find something? in uh, top right corner because then we have a we, we have a same problem just we have a descent on the descent on the first line from the other side can anyone find anything there so dave says it kind of reverts to the end game of the top right kind of Yes, basically we can find only end game inside because if we try the same way as before, as before, then uh, white will just answer like this, and uh, and uh, white is alive, right? So the same way is really not working. So we can only try some end game. This is not much, right? And uh, there is some end game with S19. That's correct. And if white answers like this. Black goes down, white plays here, black can throw in, right? But white can either live in center like this, or white takes, black plays like this, and white lives in the gote and saves a few points. So it, this is actually slightly painful. However, definitely the descent on the first line at T15 is, cannot cause any death in the corner. So this is definitely, definitely alive. Just some end game with S90. That's correct. So let's uh, let's go clockwise. So let's proceed to the bottom right, bottom right corner. So what can you find in the bottom right corner? So there was mentioned that someone had this in their game. So do you already know the correct solution? Is there anything after T5? So, so like Ko is S2. Yes, so let's start with S2. White can only Hane, right? And what is the next move? So this is R1, R1. And if white tries to capture like this and white makes, a, white makes an eye, black can connect under like this, right? And that's why this descent matters. So, so that's why, uh, that's why actually this wouldn't be possible. So only possibility white can probably, well, basically white has two possibilities, right? But the best possibility is surely to make the core, make the core this way, right? And this is some long, not only two step core, it's more step core, right? Or it's some, it's more step core, let's say, but black can, black can make the call in this way, right? So it, the call is not that easy to win for black, but there is something, right? Basically, this will be a call like this, 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 and black needs to spend some more moves there, right? Yes, white needs two, black needs three, basically, yes. So, uh, not really easy for, for, not really easy for black. But uh, there is something, so this is definitely good to remember. And I know, I know that some people try to play from here. But how would you answer as white at this point? Yes, not really center until late in the end game. So how to deal with this move? Because this move is slightly tricky. So if you play T2, we actually come back to our previous problem. Right? 
So basically, we should prevent the possibility to come back to our previous problem, right? So, so this shape, so this shape, or this shape would probably make it the same. And is there any other possibility how to deal with this? Then S two seki is that correct, right? Chisu Tuseki should be the possibility how to how to still keep the group alive. So Anti has mentioned the value of the move roughly P uh, five point eight. Five point eight. It's also kind of regarding the Seki, right? I didn't really know it's five point eight, but uh, it uh, it kind of uh, it kind of uh, makes sense. It can be such value. I can definitely imagine that. Yes. Yeah, but they will definitely I'm far not that good mathematician as you are, so 5.8 is pretty ridiculous number. I would just say 6 and that's it. Yeah, so I think that's it about so when become pro in Japan you are bored. Yes, that's actually that's what I uh, have seen some kids doing in uh, Chinese uh, Godojo, for example. Like when they are bored, they are also counting this kind of uh, end game difficult stuff and so on. And they are also they are also getting numbers like eleven point two in some problems and so on. I don't really count like that definitely. To me, I, I just count I just count uh, basically full numbers and maybe. Like say like eleven point five that I am able to count, but definitely not uh, definitely not uh, let's say. Anyway, I I still believe my end game is good enough on European top level, I guess. So yeah, I don't usually I don't count in more detail. So uh, so we have uh, I eleven point uh -huh, okay, <laughs> that's also pretty ridiculous. Anyway, so in this diagram we have a bottom left shape. So can anyone find anything, uh, anything in the uh, bottom left corner? Is there anything after the descent at uh, F1? Anyone finds some miracle in the corner in the bottom left? No one sees anything, it seems like. No kill. Yes, no kill. So let's try some stuff, what we can try here. Uh, you should be a, definitely careful how to, uh, how to answer this move. Because if I'm not mistaken, there can be some problem with the descent. Ah, no, actually don't have to be that careful. But anyway, this move just, this move just makes, it, makes it solved. So... We can also try this move like in the bottom right corner and this is clearly not working, right? This seems to be working like this to make two step call, but actually white has a nice move of this one and this make this keeps it alive. We can also try this move, but white can just play like this and we have a liberty at A5, right? So so white is alive. So there is probably nothing else we can try. We can actually try C1, and but actually with the in the previous problem, someone mentioned A2, and actually A2 works pretty well here, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, then basically white can live like this, right? And I don't think there is even any Siki or anything like that, right, in this problem, or at least I don't think there is anything. Or does anyone see anything more? Because I don't, or at least I didn't find. So, yes, 
because I also don't know anything. Yes, it should be definitely okay. There is just some endgame. White will be uh, left by a very small amount of points, something like four probably, in case black gets all of these endgames, but there is nothing else. So there's not really a big issue, I guess. So let's proceed to another to, to another diagram. Now we have already some, let's say, different problems or on different levels also, because for example, the bottom left problem is fairly easy, but the top right problem is pretty difficult, I can tell you. So, ah, thanks, uh, thanks, for, uh, for, thanks for a nice feedback. So, uh, I think uh, we can start in the, in, from the bottom from the bottom left corner because that fun should be fairly easy. I think Q players should be also sol able to solve it easily. So how to kill the bottom left? How to start? Yeah, death in what? There is a death in what? I know. <laughs> I know. Just I am waiting for someone to say it. Yes, A5, Hane, Hane. And kill, right? And that's it, probably. Yeah. So white is finished here. So then let's try the bottom right pro corner. It's basically same, same proverb in in usage. So, but just which honey we should start? So O one O one yes that's correct and then we play this Hana and kill right because we have already we have already uh, this uh, this solution before uh, so actually if you if you start with this Hana then it will be a sad story right because white can try to live like this of course it will be very small life but it will be life so please do be really careful which Hana to start with. So this one, and if white connects this, we already solved before too, right? So this should be fine. So let's proceed to the top left corner. Top left corner is pretty famous problem, which is uh, which starts with the classic Sun Sun Invasion Joseki, right? Just black gets these two endgame moves. Actually, G19 can be very interesting moves regarding endgame, because for example, imagine there is white territory at the top side, and black can get some jump on the side like this, thanks to the move at G19. So G19 is actually center on the corner. So how to kill that if white doesn't reply? So D18 and next. And uh, F19. F19 is not correct because white will make life like this. White will make life like this, and it's basically me I between this move and this move. Right? So actually someone says here B19, and B19 is actually correct. Yes. And now if white takes, we play F19. So be careful about the, about the move order. 
uh, because the, then it can uh, ruin the solution. So this is the correct move, correct moves order. So Kirklund is a uh, is a uh, correct. This is a uh, this is the fine solution. And if white plays like this, we have uh, once again bent four in a corner, right? And this is dead. Yes, so actually this is really this is really good to remember. So actually this honey, uh, I'm sorry, this descent on the first line is center two. So let's move to the top right corner. And top right corner is actually a very famous problem um, because in Europe because this problem appeared, first of all, it, it, it appeared in some pro games. And second of all, it appeared in the finals of pro qualification in Europe 2015. And uh, so, and in that at that time, actually, there was uh, one Joseki very popular where this uh, where where this uh, problem could appear very easily. And actually, mm, actually, uh, in that game, in the finals of the pro qualification, White died here. And you will not believe it, White was Ilya Shikshin. So and uh, so, actually, this problem was definitely not not easy to solve even for a really a top player in 30 seconds so does anyone know how to kill white unconditionally without any core and please mind there is this this descent here So T15 first, yes, it's that looks pretty obvious, right? Because nothing else works. So we can start. Uh, we can start like this by T15. There is a death in Hane. So once again, we start with this move. And next. Then R16 and T18. Yes, and next. What is what is the next move? So Q19, Q19 would actually create a core, right? This would make, this would create a core in this way, right? Or black could just start it immediately like this, and this is not enough. So as I said, unconditionally, so the Q19 is not correct, and T17, ah, so, so Dave probably knows the solution. If white throws in like this, and then actually black will play this move, which is not that really obvious, and this is probably the move which Ilya Shikshin missed in 30 seconds. Because this move is really not obvious uh, to find. So, white play, white plays here, black takes, white takes, black takes back, and it's once and it's dead once again uh, in bent four in a corner. Right? So, this is actually the correct solution of this problem. It's really good to remember it because it's really hard to find it in the game. Even pro even for professional players, it's not really easy. So uh, if we try anything else, like cut here, for example, it will be once again some core, right? Some core like this, for example. There are many solutions. So uh, yes, and this comes actually from Chinese opening. I can show you to Joseki. So. So, in these days, everyone plays here, right? 
following the AI, but this, that was not happening like five years, five or ten years ago. White was invading Sansa, and there was this sequence happening, right? And then White descended here and te was testing testing Black where to where will he answer? And if Black goes down, then actually we come we come to this shape in case White doesn't protect here. If white protects here and black protects the cut and white extends, this is probably the classic Joseki, right? But in case if white omits the protection and plays like this immediately, then we actually can see this very sad story for white. Right? So this is was actually the shape Antti was all talking about. So this is really good to really good to know. Actually, even though this Joseki can be called old school, let's say, I think it's still fine. Like it's definitely playable for both. I think so. The, so this actually comes from comes from uh, this shape. So I think uh, that's it about this diagram. And then we move to then we move we move to these shapes, which are also quite funny. I think. And also very useful to know, not really, not really easy to find the solution. So, uh, which shape do you think is the easiest? Is there any shape where we can kill, where we can white unconditionally? So, Dave, you can tell us where, where would you like to kill white unconditionally without any call or secure, whatever. The left ones. Yes, actually, both left ones are possible to kill unconditionally. The top left is not that hard. The the bottom left is a bit harder, I think, but uh, both are actually possible, the left ones. So, Dave, if you want to shine once again, you can show us one of the solutions. You can choose which one you like. Is it? Okay, if you want, you can show us the easier one. If you want, if you think the bottom left is easier, then you can show us the, the, the bottom left. So, how, you, how do you kill? So, this, this, and this. This is correct. Yes. And after this, you play Hane and turn, right? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Kosumi, or what is it? What is it? Hane, Kosumi, whatever. Anyway, A2. Uh, so A2 actually is a, A2 is a kills, right? So this is probably what you meant. So this is really good to, this is really good to, good to remember. So this is the correct solution. Nothing else works. If white tries this move, we kill like this, right? This is also dead. And Kirklun says top left at uh, A16. Yes, also correct. And this move is also, also not really easy to find in the game if you would be under time pressure. So this move is really untypical for killing. And I will explain you why this move is working. Because we would like to kill like this, right? This is, this is like the easiest solution which can come to our minds, I guess. But white can try co, right? Like this, right? So we would like to prevent the co somehow. And if we can make this exchange first, and then we, we we try to kill like this. This is suddenly working, right? So if we play make this strangely looking uh, exchange on time, then actually koi ko is not possible to make for white anymore, and the group is just dead. Okay. So if if the if both of these problems are clear. We can take a look what happens on the right side. And basically both of these problems are similar. Just there is this liberty, which I would like to note. So 
there will be the, so the sol solution will be related to the to the to the liberty of course and uh, Yakago says uh, 2000 year call and uh, 10000 year call and uh, and uh, Seki yes that's actually correct and how do you make them you can show us one of them s2 s8 yeah, okay you showed both okay so actually anyway so so anyway the first move uh, the first move is uh, quite obvious right we, in both cases we start with 2 2 right so we can start for example which one do we start we start with bottom right let's say with the liberty so we play hane we play here and what is the next move Yes, and that's uh, Dave. That's actually that's why Go is so amazing game, right? <laughs> yes, such a, so T three. Yes, and what if I play here? T two. Yes. Oh, sorry. This, 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 this. Right. And do we see liberty? Liberty matters, right? And suddenly, uh, why can actually make life like this? This is a very secret move White has here. Ah, yes, this is actually kind of true. I've never heard something like Go is a game about one liberty. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, true. So actually, this move, this uh, secret move, can actually come into the play when we have a, when we have a liberty at Q5, right? But of course, Black can play like this, right, and makes a key this way. So if White has a, so if White has one or more liberties uh, on the outside, which can happen easily. Then, uh, then is there, there is a there is a there is a seki incentive for black. So white is alive with zero points, right? Is that correct? So then we can actually try what happens in the top top right corner. Then uh, white white tries this hane, but suddenly this is not working anymore, right? Because we don't have the liberty here, this would be a suicide. So, uh, so this is not working anymore. So, uh, <laughs> and uh, so can so can someone tell me what is the correct solution here? If not T seventeen, what is the correct solution? So T18, yes. And then Yes, it's correct. T18 was correct, but just you need to know how to continue next. And uh, you mean probably N15 is outside of the problem, so you mean T15 probably. Yes. T15 is correct, and this is the 10,000 year core, which was already mentioned here. Basically, Black needs to spend really a lot of moves to kill this group. So, uh, usually such problem is, is left until Dame or micro, or micro endgame. Uh, otherwise, it's really not easy for Black to kill because Black needs to spend really a lot of moves, invest something inside. Black can, of course, make Seki still, but that's nothing special, I guess. So, Black wants to try more. And I can tell you one story which I observed on a, on a Czech on a Czech tournament recently. There were actually two, three, three dance player, players playing each other. They were already in Guyomi, and uh, they had actually a problem in bottom right corner. They and actually White has actually more than one liberty, and Black was already hopeless in that game, and he tried like this: White plays Hane, Black plays here, White plays here, and then makes this call. So this is actually how suddenly Black really came back seriously to the game, and I think Black won in the end. That I'm not sure anymore, but uh, this actually is Black in a, came back from very hopeless position like this suddenly to the game in the bottom right, left, bottom right corner where 
white has a lot of liberties. So that's why I really recommend these practical problems to memorize and know the solutions, because if you would come into last period in 30 seconds, I'm sure that it's not really easy to find a solution of this problem, right? And realize that one or more liberties matter. So actually this very family, this very usual problem is really good to memorize. So yeah, so actually I think that's it. What of all what I prepared for today, basically this lesson itself is of course not a clear guideline how to like solve Tsumegos, let's say, but normally we take off a base from, from the outside and then then kill in kill, then kill inside. But it's of course not always like that. We also observed some very rare moves like this one, for example, or in this problem we die, we start to kill kill from, from inside, but not always there is a clear there is a clear death. And um, yes, yes, uh, re and repeat. Yes, um, there is always good to, to to repeat. Even the easy, even the easy ones, because these ones, it's some of these uh, which happened really often. is not really hard to not really hard uh, uh, not really hard to play them in the game if you if you if you know them by memory. But it's really hard to find uh, really hard to find the solution. In a time pressure, so that's why it would be really good to memorize some of uh, some of them. So and actually, I uh, last of all, I have one uh, one uh, suggestion or, or advice to you. Uh, maybe as especially some of you at done level have already reached some kind of conclusion that it's already really hard to improve, and maybe you are not sure in which field you should improve if you really want to, let's say, enter the high done level society, right? And there is actually one thing I, which is always a good, which is always good to solve more and more tsumegos. I can understand that solving tsumegos is not always that much entertaining. Maybe some of you find it entertaining, but for example, personally, I don't. But uh, I think it's really important to solve tsumegos once, once. Uh, like like once again, like even easy easy problems, try to solve it fast. So try to solve it with fast. So it's always simply useful. So I really encourage you to solve solve to megos if you don't know in which field you should improve. Even if you know if you believe that your reading is good, then uh, it's always it's always definitely useful. And uh, mm, yeah, I'm about like. Yes, definitely. Yes, the uh, yeah, solving to megos always, uh, always uh, good. Ah, there is a part two. two. Okay, I probably overlooked that one. Ah, you made a puzzle by yourself. That's cool. Okay. Ah, L part. Yes, L part. We actually reviewed reviewed uh, today, right? L five is a uh, L part is a classic. Yes, Chochikud elementary problems are actually are actually uh, really useful. Even if you do the elementary ones, and let's say you set up time limit, and you let's say have to solve every every problem in like 10 seconds or something it's really it's really it's really useful definitely yeah so definitely if you don't know if ah my good friend tasuki from czechia has this collection on his website that's true i've almost forgot about that website already Ante, don't you want to write a Tsumeko book? <laughs> ah, that's good. Okay, that I'm really looking forward to that. 
Yeah, so actually this, uh, this lesson can be some basic background. Yeah, so I'm wondering if there is anything more I can say. I can only hope that you learned a lot from this lesson and I hope I will see you once again next month on the lesson and uh, if you have any questions this is the last chance this is the last chance you can ask something there is actually next Nordic Godojo lesson in two weeks and Antti do you know who is uh, who is the teacher in two weeks yes my next lesson is next month Auntie, next time is Jeff, right? Yes, I remember it correctly. How does one practice reading faster in Biomi? So either, once again, solve to Megos, solve to Megos in fast time limit. As we have already mentioned, you can try, you, you, you can try just setting up time limit, even solving, uh, solving, uh, solving to Megos in a, uh, like even elementary ones in fast time limit and another another thing is of course playing blitz playing fast time limit games is always uh, always uh, also a good practice how to how how you think about how i think about end game in the opening mm. Well, to me, since I'm a territorial player, to me it's really important to start playing endgame on time. So once there is basically no interesting move in the center, or the center is completely boring, then uh, then I, I'm just able to, to start playing endgame at move 60, like some Kosumi on the second line, or something like that. Just basically, I really keep paying attention if uh, uh, to play end game on time and then uh, uh, then I can actually somehow afford to just win by 5.5 in every game let's say so that's uh, that's actually the only thing I can say about it it uh, it requires really a lot of patience it requires really a lot of patience but also needs precise you need to be really precise to start playing end game on time. I think that's all I can say about it. Does it help to you a bit as an answer, Yakago? Question, what would you say how much time problem should be taken for? Oh, intermediate collection. What what do you mean intermediate collection? Intermediate collection is probably like a this one like right l shapes except the except the bottom left i guess on tasuki's side aha uh -huh. i actually only didn't remember how the, wait intermediate is two stars or three stars two stars okay middle down i think five seconds Five seconds, I think, for a three or four down, let's say. Aha, it gets harder at the end. Okay. Then, aha, at the end is harder. Aha, okay, because I thought it's uh, easy as, all the time as uh, at the beginning. So, um, then it's then it's hard to say. I guess at the beginning, surely you have you can make it in five seconds, but at the end, yeah. Well, if the problems are different, well, then hard to say. Well, you can try thirty seconds for all of them, but at the beginning, thirty seconds is really it's really thirty seconds is really slow. I think at the beginning, but at the end, probably it makes sense. Like I didn't make the didn't solve the collection until the end, so I don't remember. Yes, Bioyomi is a Bioyomi exactly. It's Thirty seconds. Yes, so you don't lose a period. <laughs> uh, what is my favorite Sumego collection for SJK? Yeah, I mean, uh, 
Papa snack, it was already um, it was already mentioned here. Like for example, Chochi Kunf collection, which you can find on the website of, of Tasuki, which Auntie already published here, uh, it's a pretty good collection. Uh, you need to pay for the books, yes, if uh, if uh, you want to get solutions. But uh, it's a pretty good collection, I think. It's a pretty pretty good classic. It's a classic. So that one I can definitely recommend for sure. Also, some of you guys who have an account on W Baduk, on W Baduk server, you can also find pretty nice collections of Tsumego. That's actually where I'm solving Tsumegos right now. Yes, yes, true. That's what I kind of said. Just do more or set up a time limit and play Blitz. Blitz can help definitely in fast solving Sumegos. Like for example, what I can tell you uh, before, uh, before, before uh, the, the last pro qualification, I remember I b b borrowed a lot of books of very elementary Tsumegos, like mostly for like even 10Q level sometimes, and uh, I just try to do them as fast as possible. Like I set up a time limit, I uh, I let's say I set up a time limit of ten, I don't know ten minutes let's say, and I had just uh, had an intention to solve the whole book in ten minutes, for example, because there were a few hundreds of problems, and I just try to do the elementary ones in uh, ten minutes, for example, the whole book. So this was one of the stuff I was actually also doing before pro last pro qualification. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and if you if, and fun shit, if you are blitz uh, too weak in blitz, you just again try to play more of more of them. You can get, definitely get used to it. I also used to be very weak in blitz, but I don't think it's the case anymore. Right. <laughs> Ha, true, very true, yes. Kids are reading it precisely all the time. Don't remind me the sad stories from, from my studies in China. Mostly, yes. No, no worries. You're welcome. Yeah, so... I think I know who is K.L. Reen. Because he's also a kid. If I'm not wrong, who he is? You will come. Yeah, I hope you. I hope you enjoy the lesson and uh, see you next time. Uh, I guess uh, Nordic Godojo participants might also find soon some reviews from me. So okay, good. So I know who is K. Uh, K. Irene then. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And uh, Auntie, last question. And uh, Auntie, the video will, will automatically save on the account, right? Great. So that's it for today. Bye, everyone.